in a magical land that many eat a long time ago there was a box it was an art box with real pieces of said uh, a, a magical accordion player my pants said manic mark goodbye pants we love you said the woman in the orange dress Mr. Unhappy Sunshine was still unhappy Mr. Adult Sized Wiener said I could use a new pair of pants Rhonda the romantic Rhonda the potato lady said ah oh, baby I love you without pants your skin is so salty and your nuts are totally roasted thank you lovely romantic Rhonda the potato lady said Mr. Adult Sized Wiener Mr. Mustard said Mr. Mustard loves you Mr. Wiener said Mr. Mustard non-smiling star and then it with the, and the non the non-smiling star shined upon Mr. Dalt sized wiener and romantic Ronda the potato lady and Mr. Mustard the cover of the strange and mysterious book should not have been touched by mortal men because of its power to save the world most mortal men could not handle the power of the book in their efforts to make a better life for themselves because all they wanted was they wanted a new car or video games they did not want to understand the mystical power of life as the power of, uh, the, the pants could provide the world with so there nobody had the book it was a secret still it is magical it is adorned with monster uh, women and jewels uh, crystal power crystals and a, p a piece of the magical pants sealed sealed in polymer so as not to be too awfully disgusting and on the first page is manic mark on the folk art cross he is the horn of gabriel is is tooting in his ear and there are eye stalks they are looking at him judging his every move as he drinks bud light lime and eats oatmeal good luck manic mark on the next page there is the refrigerator of the dam with the light that makes bananas turn black the light of the bulb is the is the curse of the curse of my pants the Manic Mark book spells that's the first decade of the second millennium. And there, and the. That made no sense. I don't know why I did. This was, you know, I made this book before I started really doing anything logical. And on the next page, there's the Black Banana. It's an, the Black Banana, the Indian tribe called the Black Banana. Indians are buried under the art villa in. They, it's the power, that's where the power of the pants come from, is the black banana Indian tribe, the buried, that, I really, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, real fake outsider pants. It, it puts power in your brain, there's the, that's not very good either. Penis, penis man, watch out, my penis is all powerful and, out of, out of control he he saved the world well he's just you know that character that one video now has over 3500 hits I it's just it's the power of the internet and and the power of penises I guess I don't know. then die hard die hard with the piece of the pants with the missile shooting out of the pants And then it's the Mayan Doom, the Mayan Doom. That was the whole point of the book. Is it, 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 somebody buys the book for 2012? That's right. I remember now. It's been a long time. You 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 avert Mayan Doom. And I give credit to to Steve Chandler for the idea for doing this book a while back. I just never finished it, but now I'm finishing it. So then there's the song by my pants song. Look at my pants. They don't smell. I must sell these pants by 2012. Look at my pants. They are pieces of art, historical pants with no skid marks. Buy my pants, don't say that you can't. Buy my pants, sing this chant. Buy my pants, avert my undoom. 
buy my pants for all the glitter and gloom. Don't buy my pants on eBay now. Buy my pants on eBay now. Please buy my pants. Voking, voking, art monster. That's a long story, not going into that one. Okay. Then there's just the, the tree with the, the all the things that happen, the good things that come out of my pants. It's, that's the tree with the, the good things. And then on the next page of the patrons of the pants, all the people that were nice enough to send Manic Mark $3 along with their... Uh, I need a ruler. Do I have a ruler? Say how. Hold on, I'm gonna get a ruler. Uh, the space is approximately five, at about five and a half by two, five and a half by two. I got a few spaces left. If anybody would like to send me a piece of art that's five and a half by two inches deep, you know, like your name and some something on it, you know. And three dollars, and I'll put you in the book. There's a few spaces left there, okay. Um, and then, and then I decided to draw a portrait of everybody, all the patrons that participated in this project. And there's a portrait of you all there. I put you in 70s tuxedos and dresses and everything. <laughs> um, and then there's another, there's another portrait of me. Why? Because this book is about my pants. So there's well, there's more than just one portrait of me in there. And, uh, make my dreams come true which by my pants okay and uh, then it's the end there in the last page now what this deal is here is I already you know can the deal is that in future science because I sealed these my pieces of my pants my favorite pants they were my favorite pants you know and Steve said why don't you preserve them in art and I did that I preserved them so this I figure in the future since I sealed them with polymers when archaeologists find this, they'll be able to extract my DNA and use it to power some kind of futuristic machine, which is so futuristic that none of us can possibly understand or fantasize fan the fantastic nature of the machine. And I thank you. And then the last thing, and the close it out. On the end side is is. So, it's like this, okay. So ends the, the tale of the magical pants pieces of which still live on in the myth of life and then the sun burns out, out and all life on earth ceases to exist. There is no happiness, only horror and rot, says Douglas Miracle. That was a fine story, Douglas Miracle, said the Santa helper pushing his wheelchair. I loved Santa, said the head that I cut off an album cover. The album wasn't any good. It was all trashed, so it's cool that I did it that way. Okay. Mr. Unhappy Sunshine says, you will all pay in 2012. So say Mr. Unhappy Sunshine. And then there's the little baby, the child who's listening to the story. He thinks he's a relative of Douglas Miracle, and that doesn't matter. Anyway, it's just a side note. Okay. Um, thanks, everybody, for stopping by and listening to the new book uh, story there such as it, it is uh, featuring um, Mr. Adult Sized Wiener, uh, the lovely romantic Rhonda the Potato Lady, uh, Doug, Douglas, I said that name, okay, um, pieces of my pants mainly and everybody that helped, thanks everybody that uh, participated. You can see the big, you go to the website and there's big images and you can all see your, you know, your, um, your deal there. And uh, I should link all those images. I think I might link those images to people's websites and junk like that. I'll do that. Okay, that's it. Anyway, um, thanks a lot for stopping by. See you.